this is so much better than the 12 year old. Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have this Chivas Regal, 18 years old, here on my cask. And uh, I had the 12 year old just for a few minutes ago. And uh, well, this one is the premium to the, 18 year, uh, to the 12 year old and it costs twice as much. So 50 euros, round about 50 pounds, 50 dollars, wherever you listen to this video. Uh, this is well used for a gift for the holiday season and this is in the middle of the Chivas range which is the 12 year old, the 18 year old, the Royal Salute which is a 21 year old in a ceramic craft and the top bottle a 25 year old which I already had. Uh, Hopefully I will get my hands on another bottle to have a tasting video for you here. Um, the 18 year old has less grain content in the blended whiskey mixture, which consists of malt whiskies from different distilleries and grain whiskies from the industrial production. And uh, the malt whiskies have lead malls in them and one of those lead malls is the Strathyla which I like very very much and of which I already had some very old ones 40 years old 1960 so Strathyla is one of my favorite distilleries. Um, yeah here we will see more malt whiskey in it which will lead to more aroma, more intense whiskey, because the malt whiskey shows the intensity, the character, and the grain whiskey, well, is filled up <laughs> to top up uh, the vat and to give smoothness, alcohol without spiciness, to, to smoothen same things. Yeah, uh, the box is I always unpack the bottle in front of the camera if I like the box <laughs> to show you a little bit around and uh, here you have this 18 year old with blue and it's front it says gold signature here and there's a gold signature Colin Scott is this an, the master blender of Chivers or is this the founder or who is it? I don't know. Richness and maturity, the Chivas Regal Gold Signature blend has been created for its opulent richness from whiskies matured for at least 18 years. And the question always arises, uh, is it only true for the malt whiskies and not for the grains? No, 18 years is for all whiskies, including the grains. Colin Scott, Master Blender, ah, I guessed right. I do not read that before, so this is life. I don't have the time to read everything and then repeat it here. And, no, so it's life. Chivas Brothers Master Blender Colin Scott has hand-selected the cask for this very special blend in recognition of this Colin Scott's initials appear on every bottle of Chivas Regal Gold Signature. Chivas Brothers, there are some pictograms here. And uh, the Chivas Regal Lion symbolizes Chivas Brothers' pride in this superb whiskey. For over 100 years, Chivas Brothers has owned a remarkable wealth of whiskey stocks. From these thousands of casks maturing deep in the Scotch Hills, only a few of the richest are set aside for Chivas Regal Gold Signature. Yeah, uh, some of the malt whiskies uh, are hosted in warehouses around Keith, where the Strathyla distillery resides. But there are some huge warehouse complexes up in the hills uh, where no distillery is, so they move the casks there. The Gold Signature, a welcoming, rewarding whiskey, exceptional richness with multi-layered aromas of buttery toffee, dark chocolate and dried fruits. Uh, if I read uh, buttery toffee, 
then that means uh, fresh casks are present where these caramel toffee aromas are extracted from. Dark chocolate means old oak, especially European oak, which deliver a lot of tannins, which will have a sometimes chocolate character. And dried fruit. Dried fruits are typically uh, from ex-cherry casks. Hints of spices and smoke. So some smoke whiskey, typically from the Isle of Isla, but today mm, not so often because the whiskies from Isla are too expensive. So there are a lot of uh, distilleries, workhorses of the industry inside the space side, which also produce hefty smoky malt whiskies for the mixture. The warp juice velvety palette develops into an extremely long warm finish. Colin Scott Master Blender, 40 percent ABV and the blue is inside oh, you see this blue yeah. and here is the bottle the shape resembles the 12 year old but the bottom is much thicker and the bottle is really heavy so this is a valuable gift you present to your friends. There's another label, Bandrol, on the top, which costs, and here you have the old engraving of 1801, uh, which vanished from the 12-year-old uh, bottle. And here is the lion. And unfortunately, this whiskey, I think, is also artificially colored. I think some sherry aroma is already present at the cork. This is so much better than the 12 year old, more than double as good. So those 50 euros, twice the amount you pay for the 12 year old is well spent. Full, rich, a hint of smoke, just a little hint of smoke. And the sherry cask is there, the toffee, Dark chocolate is coming up. Resins. Yeah. Wonderful. And fruitiness in the back. much more intense than the 40% ABV suggests. Mouth-watering and then oakiness. Hitting oakiness and together with these oiliness of the grain and well this is this is a blended whiskey. This is for me personally a light minus in the B note because the the tannins of the grain casks are very often dominant against the caramel, vanilla, toffee note of the malt whiskey casks. Mm, yeah. The aroma is just wonderful. A hint of smoke, just to have it more complex. some floral aromas as well. A 
soft, warm, and then spiciness is coming up. If you look for the bitterness, you will find it. So no bitterness at all. And when the aroma fades away, then the very dark chocolate, the bitterness of the tannins arise in the back. Yeah, I think with a second sip, it's becoming better. So be careful. Probably the fourth and fifth sip will be the best before it turns bad. Yeah. Yeah, a wonderful <laughs> gift, a well-made blend over 200 years old. I don't know if the 18 years old is as old as the 12 years old is, but uh, for these whiskies which are published in millions, uh, it is a wonderful, stable and complex blended whiskey. Thank you for watching. If you would like to discuss this whiskey with me, please do so in our forum on whiskey.com and I will try to answer your questions there. Thank you very much.